Hello, and welcome to this App Studio Getting Started video. The goal of this video is to introduce the HTML Canvas. You will learn what the HTML Canvas is, how to access it, and how to use it. In App Studio, you use the HTML Canvas to create HTML pages and guided reports that incorporate and display forms, reports, graphs, and web objects. You can access the HTML Canvas by doing one of the following. On the Home tab, in the Content group, click HTML Document. In the Environments tree panel, right-click a domain, folder, or file node, point to New, and then click HTML Document. When you create a new HTML page or guided report page, the HTML Document Wizard opens. The HTML Document Wizard guides you through the initial steps of setting up your HTML page or guided report page. You can choose where to create your page, if you want to use a responsive template, if you want to specify page settings such as a title, or whether to enable mobile design. Use the Responsive Options section if you want to create a responsive page without using a template. You can also select a theme to control the appearance of your page. After you click Finish in the HTML Document Wizard, the HTML Canvas opens. The HTML Canvas displays the Components, Controls, Positioning, and Utilities tabs. Use the Components tab to add components such as reports, charts, forms, maps, and more to the HTML page. From the Controls tab, you can add objects that interact with and affect components on the HTML page. Use the Positioning tab to control a selected object's position. The Utilities tab contains a number of commands that aid in the creation of your page. The HTML Canvas also displays the Properties panel, Settings panel, Tasks and Animations panel, and the Requests and Data Sources panel. The Properties panel shows the attributes of the object or objects selected on the canvas. You can also select Events, which displays a list of all available JavaScript events that can be used in conjunction with an object. The Settings panel modifies the population settings of components, controls, and parameters. The options that are available in the Settings panel change depending on the object that you select. If you do not select an object, no options will be available. Use the Tasks and Animations panel to create tasks and animations. A task allows you to execute a request when a certain criterion is met. You can also use the Tasks and Animations panel to animate objects using jQuery animations. The Requests and Data Sources panel is used to create requests and manage your data sources. Requests are procedures, pages, or URLs that can be executed. The HTML Canvas has four view tabs shown at the bottom of the canvas that allow you to edit different areas of functionality for the same document. The Design View tab appears when you first create or open an HTML page or guided report page. You can use the Design View tab to add controls and components to the canvas. You can use the Parameters View tab to create and modify parameter values, input controls, and customize parameter conditions. You can also bind parameters to controls and chain controls to one another. You can use the Embedded JavaScript and the Embedded CSS View tabs to create JavaScript code and cascading style sheets for use in your page. For more information on App Studio, see the App Studio Information Center or view the help by pressing F1.